If a person kills or murder another life in the womb or after, that spirit will be attached to them in this life. When person is a police officer or military, any job position that results in taking life, that spirit will haunt that person. Reasons don't matter, that person's spirit will be attached and follow you home. These same spirits will lead you to drink, take drugs and even become suicidal. If a couple abort a child they create, that child's spirit can live around them or come into another child's life they have later or just stay around until they pass over from this physical life. Both parents will have to live another life and will experience the very same as the child's spirit. Whatever you do to harm a person in a life will be your fate in another life you live. When a person dies at the shadow hour between 2.30 and 3.30 a.m. their spirit is taken to the gateway to cross over, by then they will greet their relatives who have passed and some they have never met in this life. They will welcome them, then comes a choice to enter the pale white light to reincarnate into a new physical life. In most occasions due to the life cycle, spirit can also be allowed to visit a person still alive up to 60 days, some are given the power to be seen, others only heard and others felt. Then after 60 days again they must enter that gate at the exact time between 2.30 am to 3.30 am to start their orientation as a spirit being, that's if they don't return. When that gate opens at each shadow hour at 3 am, many spirits or specters and ghosts force their way across and into this physical realm to haunt, some become trapped, others cross back over to start their judgment, extraterrestrials use the same gateway and some are what you call demons, ghouls, jinns or devils, Many are called or welcomed by people who plays with the spirit world and open the gateway by Ouija boards.